Subscribe, yes. like, yes. and comment yes. to the oh YouTube my God. Rapid Fire Show. Thank you guys for the love and support. We oh. appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. We really appreciate it. We love you all and thank you. <laughs> omnipotent. He's also omniscient, all knowing. He's also omnipresent. That means when you sneak up at night and your wife's in bed and you're searching the internet. God is still watching. Anyway, he's omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent, and he reigns over his fold, over his flock, over his church. Dad, the service I chose today was so good. Pastor Bosley was the greatest, is the greatest pastor in the whole, in the whole church. Dad, he preached goodly today. Yes, today I know the service was so good today. Pastor Bosley is a real man of God. He's really anointed. He's, he's one of the best pastors in the world. Yeah. So today's service was so good, and I love it. You know, and the message was so good today. And uh, it's good to come to church, as he says. Those that come goes to church at least uh, two, three times a month live very long. They have good health, and because their focus, thoughts, and God's uh, and the focus on God makes their life grows better. And the service was good, the message was so good, and we are happy. So thank God, thank God for Pastor Parsley, my son. You're right. 100% right. He's a man of God. The message was strong. We can feel the anointing today. God bless Pastor Parsley. God bless the World Harvest Church. God bless the first family. And God bless um, our college, Valo Christian College. And folks, don't forget to come to Valo Christian College in Kenan, Winchester, Ohio. Dad, when you graduate Christian College, are you gonna go preach around the world like Pastor Possibly? Yeah, sure. Of course, son. When I graduated from college with my Bachelor of, um, Bachelor's of Arts, I'm gonna go preach the world. I'm gonna go spread the gospel, spread the good news around the world. I'm gonna go to Portugal, Cape Verde, Sierra Leone, you name it, all around the world, Latin America, everywhere. God is everywhere, you know, and uh, we have to um, spread the gospel, spread the good news about Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and about how we should live our lives. The Bible is a daily manuscript of God, a daily manuscript of our lives, the way we should live our lives. It tells us, it gives us the information to how to live rightly. The Bible teaches, teaches us how to live rightly. And uh, it's just like when you buy something from the store, like you don't know how to use it, you follow the manual. The Bible is a daily manual of our lives, how to live a better life, how to stay focused on God, how to stay away from fornication, temptation, uh, slander, lies, cheating, and uh, backstabbing. And it teaches you how to live straight, you know. When you read the Word of God, it empowers you, it builds you up, to, to live a very holy life because God is holy. He wants us to live a very holy life. He don't want us to backstab in people, like to cheat on people, deceive them, you know, because hell is real, heaven is real. And we go to heaven by God's grace and mercy. And if we follow the, the, the Bible and um, the, daily, uh, the, the scriptures, we do accordingly and we can live a very good life. And uh, we can be hopeful that one day we're going to reunite with our loved ones in heaven. So we have to live a very good life. Hello. Hello. 
Or are you Pastor City Bay? Yes, I am Pastor City Bay. And what's the problem? Is it okay for me to answer my husband's phone when it's ringing? In some cases, it's okay for husbands to answer their wife's call if the woman okayed it. And it's not okay though. The phone was ringing, but he didn't pick it in front of me, so he had to went to the bathroom and pick it up. So I was kind of like curious, so that's why I decided to ask you, since you're a pastor, so I want to know if that's okay for him to leave me where we're sitting for him to answer the phone call instead of him go to the bathroom and answer the phone call, if it's that's okay. So that's why I'm asking if it's okay for him to leave. Oh, oh that's hell the no! In some cases, it's, also, it's okay for wife to answer the husband's uh, call. But some cases also, if the husband they didn't give you the uh, go ahead, you should not answer it. But to be on the safe side, do not answer your husband's call phone when it's ringing, except he says you answer it. Okay, but I made a mistake and later call trying to check on the number that called him. So when I end up call the number and it end up being his boss. So you better stop. I don't know. And then I know, Pastor, you're married. Is it okay? for your oh, wife to pick up your call, no. if that's okay by you. And I want to know if what I did is wrong or bad, whatever I made a mistake, you can correct me oh, a little bit. Well, after me, my wife answered my phone calls. I give her the okay. My phone rings and then she picks up. Even my son answers my calls. Most times my job, there's a lady there working. We have both men, men and women. So it's okay if you answer as long as are uh, you know, suspicious? I know you're suspicious, that's why you answered the call. But now your suspicion has been laid to rest. Now, like you call, it's, it happens to be his boss on the line, and then your suspicion is rested. But you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. If he says so, if not, don't bother. Do not bother answer the call. My wife picked my calls, my phone, because I give her the say so. If your husband give you the say so, then it's okay to do it. Okay, well, after everything, and then he gave me the permission. Say anytime his phone rings, even if he's not around, I can pick his phone. Oh, hell well, thank you, Pastor, for no. the advice. I really appreciate it because I was so confused and nervous. So that's why I decided to come ask and seek for your advice. But thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Mm. Thank you. What's your name? Hajan Mansare. Good. That's a lovely name. Oh, what, what a coincidence, a beautiful name you have there. Haja is the name of my younger sister, and my mom's last name is Mansare. My mom's name is Siri Mansare. Haja Siri Mansare, because I sent her to Mecca. She is a Muslim. I'm a pastor. But hey, it's the same God, you know? Uh, I don't care if you're Muslim or Christian or Jew or pagan or atheist. It's God that created all the universe. So my mom was a Muslim. Her name was Haja Siri Mansare. And thank you, Haja for asking me the question and I hope God worked things out for you and your husband and you guys live in harmony, peace and love. Thank you so much for your time and thank you. Thank you Pastor, this is awesome. I really appreciate the advice, thank you. Thank you so much. Hello everybody, you all know this is the Rapid Fire Show. You guys make sure you like and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. You guys go and promote my uncle. Thank you guys. We appreciate for the love. We really appreciate you guys. The love, oh. the like, the comment, the share. You guys showing us. We appreciate. Thank you guys. We love you all. Okay. This is Rapid Fire Show. Peace to everybody. <laughs> Yeah. Hi guys, this is Rapid Fire Show. This is Haja, my beautiful blessed niece. He's here today on Rapid Fire and he's gonna say a word or two because hey, she's Haja. Beautiful Haja. What can you say to the folks there? Uh I wanna say thank you. I wanna say thank you guys for the love and support. And you guys please continue to like and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Thank you guys, we love you. We thank you, we thank you, we appreciate the love you guys showing us. Thank you. Just keep on continuing to train us the love. We appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Because without you guys, we can't go where we should go. Okay? So we need you guys' love and support. And thank you all. 
We appreciate the love. Thank you. Thank you guys. We love you all. Peace to everybody and to the family. Okay. Thank you guys. Family. Rapid Fire Show. This is us. Thank you. Rapid, Rapid Fire. fire. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. This is my Fire Show. And this is my son, Ahmed Abubakar Kamara. He want to say thank you guys for the love you guys are showing us for the Rapid Fire Show. Thank you guys. We love you and I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the love. You guys keep showing us the love. We love it. And oh. thank you. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my uncle channel please he's on youtube the rapid fire show just type in rapid fire show and then he can pop up thank you guys thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. rapid fire show thank you yes, and you guys make sure you like his shows on the make sure you subscribe yes. like yes. and comment yes. he's on youtube rapid fire show Thank you guys for the love and support. We appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate it. We love you all and thank you. <laughs> thank you, Anja. <laughs> thank you, Anja, my beautiful uh, niece. Thank you so, uh, so much for showing up in my Rapid Fire show. And may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his countenance. And I, I, you know, you are a good actor. And that's why I hire you. When the money starts rolling in, I give you some uh, some of the money. Hey, I'm gonna spoil you. Oh yes, you are the best actor. You deserve um, a payment for that. Yes, for yes. oh, time. This is the Rapid Fire Show. You guys make sure you like and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. You guys go and promote my uncle. Thank you guys. We appreciate for the love. We really appreciate you guys. The love, the like, the comment, the share. You guys showing us. We appreciate. Thank you guys. We love you all. Okay. This is Rapid Fire Show. Peace to everybody. <laughs> Peace. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Bitch, if you want a burger, eat a burger. Bitch, if you want a fair fry, eat a fair fry. Oh, my God. <laughs>